Hi everyone, this is Sabrina here back with another video today. I hope you all are having a safe and blessed day out there today. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys my date night outfit for later on tonight, as well as the bag that I'm gonna be wearing tonight and what fits inside of my bag. I'm really excited and very grateful today because my son has been home with me all week for spring break. He's been on spring break from his preschool and my mother-in-law was so nice and gracious enough to take my son off of my hands for today so that I could have some quality time to myself. And then later on this evening, I can have some quality time with my husband and go out to one of our favorite restaurants and just have a nice, night out and get something nice to eat. So in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing as well as the bag. And I have an interesting story about this dress because this is a thrifted dress, you guys. And that's why I'm so excited to finally be able to wear this dress out because I don't, my husband and I don't get to have date nights often. So and the weather, it's nice and it's sunny outside today and it's warm, so this is perfect. Uh, the dress that I'm gonna be wearing tonight is from the thrift store. I only paid $4 for this dress, you guys. And if you look at the label, it is from the store Express. And it's always a bonus when you go thrifting and you can find name brand items of course, at thrift store prices. So here is the dress and the label. It is from Express and even better, I was able to find it in my size, size two petite. This dress is so beautiful. It is white with the black polka dots, little tiny polka dots, as you can see. When I first saw this dress, it gave me like a vintagey vibe but yet modern, very 90s, and but not so obnoxious because I, I seen in the in like TV shows from the past, like the the everybody that wore polka dots at one point as a trend, the polka dots were like really big and kind of obnoxious. These polka dots are really tiny, you know, they're not so big, they're still kind of understated, and I just love that. And I don't really have too many um items in my closet that have polka dots on them. So that's, I just think it's so, so cute. And you can see the sleeves here. It's very pretty and feminine and kind of dainty. Here in the front of the dress, it's a V-neck style. And it's kind of like lined here, like at the waist there, okay. And then it is lined at the bottom um, I mean, under the dress. So there is like a little lining under the dress. And then here's what it looks like in the back, which is so, so nice and pretty and just so feminine and dainty. It has the zipper and then it has like this large keyhole back here. So you get like a little peekaboo of your back. It's so cute. So yes, this was my thrift find for $4. And then really quick, I just wanna show you guys the, the label, like what's the material of the dress made out of, cause that's something else I look at too when I go thrifting. Um, like how you care for the item and what it's made out of. Uh, this dress, it is 100% polyester. I don't know if you guys could see that. Okay, and then it's nice that you can, you know, machine wash it. Um, when I bought this item, I just took it home and I just, uh, you know, put it in the machine, in the washing machine with a little bit of um, detergent and just washed it on a gentle cycle, you know, just to get it clean. And I did not put this in the dryer either. But yes, I am so, so, so excited to wear this dress out tonight. And then another thing, like I said, when I saw this dress, I was thinking like, um, you know, very 90s, very like, you know, I immediately thought of Hillary Banks from the TV show Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I remember seeing some of her outfits having polka dots in them. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna wear this dress and then I'm also going to pair it with this hat that I bought years ago at H&M. 
and it has like a little black, kind of like a little black bow detailing kind of going all around the hat. And I like this because I figured the black bow can kind of tie in with the black polka dots. And as you can see, I've worn this hat. It's a little dirty right there from my head and sweating, but it is from H&M and it is a size large. You know, I don't think I have a big head, you guys, but on top of my head, I have a lot of curls and I just, I need a lot of room to fit all of my curls under the hat. So don't judge me. It is a size large at H&M. So there's the hat. And then finally, here is the bag that I'm going to be wearing with my hat and my polka dot dress. This bag I bought back in 2015 or 2016. So I've had this bag for about six or seven years. I got it from the Coach Outlet. And I believe the name of this bag is called the Ruby Mini Bag. And what I love about this bag is that it's kind of like a three in one. As you can see here, I have the long leather strap on here that you can wear crossbody or just on your shoulder. And then as you can see here, I can take off the leather strap and then I can just wear the bag as just a clutch. And then finally, inside of the bag, there is a small gold chain. And this gold chain is not removable as you could see, but if you don't wanna wear the chain out, you do have the option to tuck it inside of the bag as you just saw me do there. And then you can just bring the chain around. And as you guys know, with um, my coach bags, I always make sure when I'm attaching the chain or the strap to the bag, I always make sure the clasp is kind of facing out this way so, to, so I don't mess with the leather or the corners of the bag. And then that is how you wear the bag as a shoulder bag, very elegant and ladylike and dainty, or you can wear it like in the crook of your arm. So, so pretty. But for my date tonight, I'm planning on just wearing it with the long leather strap just on my shoulder. Cause again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go for like a, you know, like a nineties kind of vibe, you know? So as you can see, there's a back slit pocket here. And when I'm not using this chain, I just kind of tuck it back there. Okay. But here's some more details about the bag. As you can see, it is like a cross grain leather, very durable. Okay, and then there's the gold hardware and it has the coach and, you know, embossed writing right there. And then here is the turn lock. You just simply turn it to open up the bag like so. And then inside it's kind of like a, you know, a fabric lining. Okay, so there's the front of the bag. Here is the side of the bag with the coach hang tag. Another thing that I love about this bag too, you guys, when I bought this, around the time that I bought it, I think Louis Vuitton had a bag out that was called the Favorite PM. And this bag kind of gave me that same similar vibe, but obviously not at the price point that Louis Vuitton was selling theirs for. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bag and show you guys what I typically carry on a date night. And as you all know, I'm very minimal with my bags. I do not carry much and I'm even more minimal on a date night. So inside my bag, that's how my things are lined up. I have some tissue. I have some lip gloss just for touch-ups, and I'm very minimal when it comes to makeup as well. This is the only lip gloss that I own. It is the Neutrogena Hydro, Bur Hydro Boost um, Hydrating Lip Shine, and it is in the color 90, which is, I think, pink mocha. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that is the only lip gloss that I own and use. And then as usual, I always have my Louis Vuitton key pouch. My keys are already inside. I just tucked them inside and zipped it up. And then finally, 
I have this insert that I um, took out of my Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet in the Damier Bean print. It's so, so beautiful. This is the original print from Louis Vuitton. And as you can see, the leather pull here is in red. My Josephine wallet, it's in the same Demia Bean canvas print, but the interior of the bat of the wallet is red. So that's why the leather pull here is red. And then inside, I just keep cash and my ID and, you know, a debit card. Very simple. And I love using this inside of, you know, my smaller bags just to, you know, keep... You know, again, just some cash ID and just my most used card. So that is what fits inside of my little date night bag. I'm going to go ahead and put the strap back on my bag. And again, this is how I I take the, le the um, clasp here. I make sure it's faced outward and I just attach it to the bag like so. And then I do the same thing on the other side. But yes, guys, I love this bag. I've had this bag for six or seven years. And I've worn this bag to so many different weddings. I've worn this bag on countless date nights with my husband. I remember one time I brought this bag as like a little evening clutch when I went on a trip to Puerto Rico. Very nice bag, very durable. It packs just the essentials, especially if you're, you know, going out for a night out on, out on the town. Very nice bag. So I'm just gonna put my things back in here, my tissue, <laughs> my uh, lip gloss, my little insert here, and then gotta have my keys. And then of course I would have my phone, I would just kind of slip it there in the back right there and that fits just fine. And that is all that I carry on a typical date night or again if I ever get invited to a special event like a wedding so go ahead and put that back there but yes guys that's all I wanted to come on here and share with you guys today oh and of course the shoes I don't want to show my shoes on camera because they look a little grungy especially where I put my feet and my toes but tonight it's a casual date night I'm just wearing some black uh flat sandals that I got at Aldo I feel like the black is gonna tie in with the black polka dots and the black, you know, ribbon in the hat there. And then of course the black bag. I just don't wanna show it on camera. But yeah, guys, this is my date night outfit. I'm so excited to wear it. Can't wait to wear it tonight. I'm so happy, so grateful to be having a break today just so I can have, you know, a little bit of me time. And then also I'm grateful to, you know, be able to have a, a little date night with my husband as well. because. We don't have date nights very often, especially, you know, having a four year old. So when I when that when those occasions come up, I always try to dress up and make myself feel nice and just be creative with my clothing, too, because I don't get out much. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Bye.